one of the problems is that employees don't know or understand how they're being perceived. And those that are, are, are seeing or perceiving don't know how to address the problem. And so it's this vicious cycle, nothing gets better. If, if you're somebody that inside you're feeling deep feelings of sadness, what you show sometimes to the outside world is that you're withdrawing from the team and you're isolating yourself. Loss of interest in work, you're showing that you're indifferent. Now, you think about that, that word indifferent is kind of a negative connotation. So if you're labeling people by just behavior without understanding what's underneath behavior, it really takes away from getting at the person's needs and also addressing the issue in the workplace. Remember, behavior is purposeful, but it doesn't mean that it's always showing you what it's about. Lack of concentration, putting things off, slowed thoughts, missed deadlines, difficulty thinking, accidents on the job. This is a big one too, depending on what industry you're in. Accidents on the job, people get hurt. Forgetfulness and trouble remembering seem scattered or absent-minded. And again, if, you, if you're thinking about, gee, how do I help somebody correct an issue at work for doing a corrective action or if it hasn't gotten that far, but I need to help somebody stop missing deadlines. If I don't get at the issue, the deadlines are going to keep being missed or you're going to start to see other behavior that's trying to compensate for the real issue. Effects on work performance and productivity, sleep problems, lower quality of work, lack of concentration, procrastination, more accidents on the job, deadlines not being met, aches and pains, you have a lot of trips to the doctor, increased health care costs, irritability or tearfulness, poor relationships with coworkers, low motivation, presenteeism. That word means that you're there but you're not really there. You go to work every day but your mind is somewhere else, you're not able to focus, there's been a real push on this word or this concept that people show up to work but they don't really show up and how that affects work life. And again, we tend to come to people and say, what's the matter with you? When somebody says, what's the matter with you? My initial response is to close in. But when I say, what's happened to you? The response is I feel a little bit more open because somebody's seen me and wants to know what's happened to me. It also shifts perceived blame. Most people feel blame for their symptoms when it's mental health. Just that shift in the way you interact with your coworkers or if the way your managers interact with the folks that they supervise will be a tremendous opening. Just that little shift in the way a person thinks and the way they interact will produce results that are pretty dramatic. For managers, I just wanted to give you an example of what you can do instead of saying, what's wrong with you? to say what's happened to you. And again, to talk and use open-ended questions, an example of, I've noticed that you've been absent a lot lately. Is there anything you'd like to talk about? I care about you. So what you're doing is you're telling the person, you're acknowledging what's been going on, and giving them an opening to say what they need to say, if they choose to.